All right, y'all. Yeah, we back at it again. Yeah, for, you know, just knocking out these videos, just trying to get caught up because, you know, I'm falling behind. And plus, I don't feel like making no goddamn TikTok. I'm no little shorts on. Fuck with that. I mean, I don't want to do that. So anyway, let's get into this video. Pretty much, um, answering up <laughs> some emails. Pretty much, they were like, well, you against getting your ex back and all that stuff like that. Can you give us a good reason? Okay, in this video, I'm gonna give you the good, some good reason why you shouldn't get back with your ex if they are toxic. I don't like to say narcissistic sociopath, but if they fall in that category, then the shoe fit. I'm talking about that. But um, this now here, here's the first reason why you shouldn't try to rekindle with your ex after they dump you and they went off and like call around the town and you know let somebody nut in their mouth and fill their body up with sperm they got more sperm in their body than blood <laughs> they got dick breath you, this is why you shouldn't try to rekindle with them after all of that because things will never go back the same it'll cross your mind like this person i'm been out there and hold it hold himself I, I never taught them how to swallow like this I ain't never taught them how to deep throw. How you can push your leg back that far? What? Who taught you these things? It'll cross your mind like, how you know how to do these things? You know, why you gotta put one leg up with me now? Just, <laughs> I'm telling you, you, I mean, you go back and put yourself through hell you want to, it gonna cross your mind like, who taught you these things? It'll never go back the same. Even, it, it don't even have to be the sexual area. They can. You go back to your ex or just y'all try to rekindle and you just chilling one day and then in the kitchen cooking. You know damn well they can't cook. You be like, who the fuck told you this little motherfucker how to cook? Who told you that? Oh, oh, that other motherfucker taught you how to cook. It'll cross your mind because the thing is, you know, it'll never go back the same because you'll never have trust for that person. You'll never have trust. It'll never go back the same. No matter how hard you try to fight to go back to how it used to be, those days are gone. That person that you know and remember is gone. Like I said, in the pet cemetery, you see the shell of the person. But the person that you knew is gone forever, ever, ever. They in the afterlife somewhere. And the second reason why you don't want to rekindle a child win your goddamn ex back like they some kind of prize you the prize they ain't the prize you the prize they're like well warren they dumb me i don't give a shit i'm st that's their laws that's their laws that's how you gotta see it. that's the kind of attitude you should have you know they're like well that's their laws they just can't see the most how much value i have it's, i can't force them to see it shit. if they want to go go they come free they can leave free so that's your attitude. But the other thing is this. The other reason why you don't accept them back and reward their bad behavior. Because if you let them come back after they end up being in a relationship with someone else. After they end up been hawing around the town and all that stuff. After they end up got double penetrated and you know swallowed juices out of people's body and all that stuff like that. And you let them come back to you. You know what you're doing? You settling. You showing with your actions. I can't find nobody else. Nobody else don't want me. And on top of that, you showing, okay, I was waiting for you for that relationship to fail so I can be here on the back burner, a placeholder, you know, a substitute teacher, somebody, you know, that can, you can come and you know, dump all your emotional feelings on me until you rest and go back into being another hoe. They settling. Other words, what I'm trying to say, long story short, you settling. You just letting this person come back. Because that whatever over there had to fail first, when it failed, they know you going to be there because you can't let go because you want to return on your investment so bad. They're going to come back to you. They're going to recharge. And they're going to go back to being the hoe again. Like I said many times, i never seen a UFO. A faithful hoe, a hoe that won't go. They bags already packed. Why? Because they come going. They come in the front door looking for the back door. That's how it works. 
So you don't accept them back. You had your time with them. Your time up. Stop handcuffing these hoes and let the next person get them. That's how it is. That's how it works. That's life in general. That's how it goes. You know, by choice or by force, you're going to lose that hoe. You're going to lose them. You know, I don't like to say narcissistic social power because it just played out. It just burned down to the ground. But if you follow their patterns to the, to the T, they are like, damn. I like hoes. That's the same thing hoes do. You know, this go for both sex. So women, if you think I'm talking about you and bashing you, I'm not. I'm not. I got no love for you. The last one is this. The reason why you never, ever, ever, ever take them back after all said and done is because that painkiller, that person that when they broke up with you and they ran their monkey ass over there to be with because they can't be alone. Remember that. That's one of their worst fears of being alone because when they broke up with you, they already in a new relationship or they already had that shit set up to be in a new relationship. You be scratching your head like, damn, that was quick. It's not new to them. It's just new to you. So therefore, the painkiller, that person, the placeholder, the new supply, whatever name y'all got for these people nowadays, you know, in the future, they're going to have more names. Whatever name they, you know, they nowadays, that person, that motherfucker, they're going to come back. They don't let go. They, they come back. And your ex going to, you know, let them back in. They know what to say to your ex to get them hot and ready. Your ex going to tell your ass, I'm going to Walmart to get some Cheetos. And they going to be cheating in the damn parking lot, Walmart parking lot. You going to be blowing their phone up. And they going to hit your ass with a goofy ass lie. Like, you going to be like, what took you so long? They going to say, well, some goofy ass lie. Like, you know, Walmart lines, they be long and all that stuff. And I just got tired of waiting and just came back home. They're like, so you ain't bought nothing? Like, they be like, no. You're like, damn, so why you smell like fish, though? That's what's going to happen. Don't take them back. Just say, like, the painkiller or somebody like that have a death in the family. Holidays, birthday, any kind of event happen over there, and they're going to call your ex up and stuff like that, and that's all it takes. That's all it takes. Why are you going to accept that shit back? You had your turn with this person. Let them go. Let them go to be a stranger. Because at the end of the day, if you stay in no contact forever, they become a stranger to you. And that's how the way, that's how the cookie crumbles. That's life. You had your turn turn that person. You might have had a good time with that person. But it's time to turn the chapter. Close that chapter. Go to the next chapter. I don't, I don't know too many people who read a damn book backwards. That shit not over with. Let it go. I know the other nerds and all the old goofy ass internet coach are going to tell you do these strategies and all this stuff and do this through A through Z and reach out to them send it all the bread. Man, look, fuck all that. Think to yourself. What strategy do I use for a person who wants me in their life? Think about it. I'll wait. Well, let me say it again for these slow motherfuckers in the back. What strategy do you use for a person who wants you in their life? What strategy do you use? What do you say to that person? What gimmick do you use? They already want you. So what strategy do you you use? I'll wait. That's right. For a person who wants you in their life, you don't use strategies. Because the battle, half the battle already been won. See, like I say, you want who wants you. And you picky about that. You don't want everybody who wants you. You know, they got some serial killers out there want to chop your ass up. They want you too. So you got to be choosy about who you want. And vet the people that comes and goes in your life. That's how it works. You don't, man, look, the person you don't know, had that your ex or whoever they may be, you don't have that person. They don't swallow your juices. You don't push a whole human out your body for that person. Whatever. Not like, okay, next. What's else? What's else out there? I'm not outgrown your ass. Okay. I'm going to see what else is out there. I don't want to go backwards, but the key 
is to change your perspective of how you see your ex. That's it. Now, with that being said, I ain't going to lie to you. I'm going to always keep it real with you. And if you need to get in contact with me, you can send me an email. Now, email is here on the screen, or you can text me on, the, on WhatsApp. It's worldwide. It's worldwide. It's worldwide. So text that. Tell me what's going on. We can set up a time to speak. Also, if you don't want to do that, you can also go to the link that's in the description. The link that's in the description. Click on that. Check out my audio books. And with that being said, take care of yourself. Stay prayed up and watch out for one another. Peace.